Hey, what's going on guys? George here. Today with another non-live commentary. Sticking with COD4 because, you know, I've been having a blast on COD4 lately. But the more I've been playing this now, the more I've been thinking that this isn't as good as like how I remembered it. You'll see in the clip in a second here. Um, basically, I get killed by the sniper here. Never liked snipers in the first place yet. I spawned just a couple of, you know, meters away from where I just died and... You know, I wasn't expecting a spawn like that, especially in a game that I thought was so good when I first played it. And, you know, I can always remember, you know, playing each Call of Duty up until about, like, MW3, saying, you know, each game, each Call of Duty gets better, you know, the, you know, over the years. Like, for example, COD4, you know, created the creative class system, you know, how we, you know, know it from, like... COD 4 up until about, I would say, Black Ops 2, because, you know, Ghost, they kind of changed it up a little bit, and then they, um, then in World at War, they added the tank, and then the idea of, you know, the RPG type rocket launcher thing, I think it, like, changes depending on which team you are, and, you know, the idea of that, and then the, you know, the balancing out with the tank, you know, it's only on certain maps and whatnot, and then, and then Modern Warfare 2, they added more attachments, more kill streaks, you know, which everybody loves. And this is a really bad death. I just jump off for no good reason because I couldn't see. But then, like Black Ops, you had the idea that you still have like a ranking up system, but most of the stuff, like your perks and your kill streaks and stuff, you don't unlock by, uh, you know, just ranking up. You can just buy him but with like guns you you have to unlock them first then buy them and added that extra idea of what do you want to actually spend like your your cold points on and then mw3 just escalated down loads but today i want to talk a bit more about titanfall now you might be wondering oh why are you really talking about titanfall i mean everybody's been talking about it for a week even longer than that because of the beta know why talk about it you know you don't actually play it so why talk about it and you know you got a fair point if you are thinking that but you know I've been trying to get my hands on playing Titanfall I've actually tried to sort out my computer so it can actually run Titanfall because during the beta it would just every time I click, clicked on the Titanfall beta it will just have like a notice pop up saying warning you do not have a good enough graphics card this game will not play I'm sorry but, anyways, so I've been trying to upgrade my computer over here, because then, you know, I can actually play it and get you some gameplay for you guys, because, you know, when we actually first saw it, I think it was like a week today or whatever, then it looked really good, but it's actually funny to see now that people thinking it's already, like, they've got bored of it already, I mean, it's, people have gotten bored with it already, as quickly as Call of Duty Ghost, and... You know, with the amount of hype there was for this game, you wouldn't have, you know, expected or hoped that. And, you know, that's kind of a bad sign, really, because, you know, you've got these people that have been playing the beta, and then they've been playing, you know, like, all week, and now they've said, you know what, I'm bored of it. And, you know, I guess you can say that there's loads of ways you can, like, argue why it's bad and why it's good because it's got like extra things in it that we haven't seen in other games before and that might be the reason why it's so bad or well not exactly so bad but why people are starting not to like it because like might you think the bots are easy or the titans are too stupid if you're in autopilot mode and you know there's more things to you know kind of question if anything than, you know, say, Call of Duty, especially, like, if you take COD 4, you know, it was very simplistic, there wasn't many things you would question, maybe spawns, maybe, maybe unfair balance of guns, or whatever, yet, now, they've tried to kind of rectify that with this game, but they have kind of haven't at the same time, like, for example, somebody was saying, actually quite a few people have been saying, you know, not enough guns, and, you know, the reason why is because they've tried to make it so balanced, yet, because of that, there's, you know, less guns, because they're meant to be all balanced, but, you know, I think that, 
that the people that respawn, you know, the people that make Titanfall can definitely try and make it so that they keep those ideas of balanced and, you know, good spawns or whatever, but make it so that it's like there's more of it because they might make it so that the bots actually do more or there's like a perk for them or, or whatever or uh, more guns, you know, there's definitely loads of potential for this game and I, I really hope that they do do some of the things that the community have been telling them to do and you know that would be you know something that I would really like to see especially when I get hands on with this game because you know I want to have a surprise when I get on but anyways guys hope you guys have had, had enjoyed this video and I didn't get the final kill sadly I don't do too well but hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you on the next video